I wanted to ask you if you think the accident made you grow up quicker or if it actually made you grow up slower because it made everyone around you sort of treat you more like a uh, you need fragile anything? kid. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and I'm like, yeah, bitch, eggs. <laughs> <laughs> Go make me some eggs, woman. You're like, uh, yeah, oxy, right? Yeah, yeah, this yeah, yeah, yeah. A morphine drip now. I, uh, yeah, I think there was... Uh, I, I regressed a little bit. Like all my friends were like going off and like drinking, a, like sharing a beer behind the, the school and like sneaking a cigarette. And I was watching Ren and Stimpy in <laughs> Rugrats. Like I truly like was just went back to like watching kid cartoons. And while they were all like doing adolescent like kid stuff, I was like, fully in my own little b bubble. So I think for a while, uh, I like regressed into being a, a, a kid again. But then also like once I came, like shook that free and came out of it, I feel like I had a good perspective on how short life is and how like if you have goals, you should work hard to achieve them and, yeah. and, and also take things like one step at a time. That's, that's was, that's the lesson, uh, because I truly had to take it one step at a time, like relearning how to walk. Right. That it was so, I remember my uh, physical therapist, my, the woman that like came to my house every day and like helped me, like I couldn't, st I couldn't do anything, you know? So it went from like, couldn't lift my head up to like lifting my head up to like, sitting up to. Oh, it was that. Yeah. And so oh, wow. your muscles go into atrophy, so. I like, I was just a noodle, I couldn't do anything. And so I had to like train to like get up and moving. And I remember one time I was about to, I had to stand up on a walker and I'm shaking and like, it's just pins and needles in my legs because all the blood is finally rushing back to my legs and it just hurt so bad. And I, I cried and was like, I can't do this. No, I can't. And that woman smacked me in the face. Really? Hit a little boy, smacked me. And was like, yes, you can. Never say no, never give up. Always one foot in front of the other. And I remember being like, this bitch smacked me. Like to my mom going like, are you gonna let this stand? And my mom's like, mm-hmm. And I'm like, oh damn ganging up on me. <laughs> but in hindsight, I'm like, that was like, cause it shocked me out of like, yeah. You'd think someone smacking you as a kid would make you cry. It like stopped the tears. Like tears were like, whoop, like back in my eyes because I was just so shocked that she did that. And then I was like, from then on, I'm like, yeah. Hey folks, thanks for watching. If you like what you just saw, then why not subscribe? Click right here for lots more off camera. And if you want to see the hour-long version of these conversations, I'm going to give you the secret link. Here it is, offcamera.com. Check it out.